James Caprillion on the mound. One of the best pitchers in the country. He was a pretty good athlete. I could tell right away, um, you know, certain things came fairly naturally to him. Up on the mound, up on that hill, he handles himself with so much grace, so much poise. He was a special young man as soon as we got him. Just a great person to be around because he makes people around him better. He has that thing, you know, he just has that it. After making a name for himself as one of the best pitchers in the Pac-12, UCLA right-hander James Caprillion was given the rare opportunity to make a start for USA Baseball's collegiate national team. On the 4th of July, Independence Day and Team USA National Collegiate Team and Chinese Taipei. It was uh, definitely an emotional day for me. A lot of nerves, wanted to prove that I was worthy. I could kind of feel the emotion running through me. When I'm in a moment like that, the person that I'm thinking of immediately would be my mom. Barbara Caprillion was diagnosed with breast cancer in February of 2000. My mom's battle with her cancer has been filled with a lot of ups and a, a lot of downs. There's daddy. There's daddy. <laughs> There's mommy right there. Ah. She was fine for seven years, and then it came back. In the weeks leading up to the 2014 USA baseball season, Barbara's condition worsened. You could see her body physically declining at that point, and we knew we didn't have that much time with her left. I pulled my dad across the room, and I was like, you know, Dad, I don't, I don't think that I should be going away and you know, playing Team USA this summer. I think I should you know, spend some time with the family. We did a fair amount of soul searching, and we talked about it, and I think Barb overheard some of the conversations taking place. Immediately the next day, my mom pulls me over when no one else is in the room and says, you're going to play for Team USA. Putting herself aside for everybody else, um, especially her children, um, that's definitely the type of person she was. My dad, my brother, my aunt and I were with our mom, standing by her bedside, and James and I had to remind her that we were okay. My last words with my mom were, Thank you, and I love you. And uh, we had to let her go, and that was, that was it. Two days after she passed away, I put him on an airplane. Sorry. So I sent him on his way, and I told him that this is what both his mom and me want him to do. This was a goal he set for himself, and he should go and achieve his goal, and represent his country, and be a good teammate. And uh, he did that. And let's play ball. Taking the mound July 4th for Team USA was uh, more about representing who I was, who my mom was, and uh, just trying to continue to let her legacy live through me. And I wanted to show all of America, this is who I am, this is where I come from, and this is the person I do it for. Just 18 days after Barbara passed away, James took the mound for Team USA. First batter, I think, got a double off it. Hit it down the line. He's on his way to second, and he pulls up there as the leadoff double for Chinese Taipei. And then he went back on the mound and uh, pitched lights out. Called strike three. He's just been outstanding. He was out there not only representing his country, his baseball team, um, his college, himself, but he was out there honoring my mom. James Caprillion in the United States holding Chinese Taipei scoreless, and the crowd here enjoying the performance from the UCLA right-hander. 12 strikeouts. She did see that performance. She, she was out there with him, and she supported him every way, and he knew that. 
you know, know she was watching up there and never missing another game. When James returned to UCLA in the fall of 2014, the Bruins had created a memorial in Barbara's honor. The seat that is dedicated to my mom is in row H, seat seven. And I sit next to it every game. When I uh, speed the game up too much, you know, I always try and find a focal point. You know, for me, my focal point is that seat up there where my mom would sit every game. And her positive spirit was just so contagious, and she didn't let cancer define who she was. She lived life on her terms, and she won the battle. She just cared about me so much, and that's part of the main reason why I strive to be so successful is for people like my mom.